Hi, welcome all of you and uh, my this video is related to a very prestigious scholarship Pradhan Mantri Research Fellowship PMRF in which if you are doing your PhD you get 70,000 per month first year 75,000 per month second year and 80,000 rupees per month third year. So this is given for three years and uh, you know other than this monthly stipend you are also given some more allowances. So this is a prestigious basically you know fellowship not only money is a point but otherwise uh, like you get in PhD you get 30 to 33,000 rupees per month. So almost a double more than double you get the scholarship but that is not the main thing. The main thing is if you do your PhD with PMRF then post PhD the opportunity will be tremendous in industries and you know in uh, uh, teaching and post doctorate fellowship normally uh, three four options pop up from PhD. Ek to aapke paas post doctorate fellowship in top universities hota hai. that depends upon your research work which you did in PhD. Then industry ke andar we can, you can go if you have developed that skill which is required for industries. Third is you know your teaching immediately you can start your teaching career also and fourth is your own work entrepreneurship since you get detailed information of particular field so you can start your own venture also. Now PMRF will help you in all because the project on which you will be working so it is hectic module because if IIT is going to give you or your institute is going to give you 70,000 per month, 75,000 per month you have to prove yourself you have to work nicely. Earlier PMRF used to be a uh, direct interview and uh, you were directly interviewed and you are to do that. But now once you are in PhD, so first semester, second semester student can apply for this. That means your PhD may CGPA, first and second semester your CGPA should be 8.5 plus, your CGPA should be this. You are already in PhD, let us say in IIT and all and your CGPA is good so you can apply. The moment you apply they ask you certain things. And then if your fi guide finds you suitable, your IIT finds you suitable, then you can get this PMRF. Every IIT has some kind of quota or some kind of seeds of PMRF fellowships and you can get it. So if you are in PhD and if you are a good candidate for PMRF, you can seek it. So this is a very prestigious scholarship and salary, it is like more than salary of PSU, right? So those of you who are genuinely interested in PhD can put really good effort in PhD and presently are in MTech. My advice is that try to publish your research paper in MTech itself. So if you have two, three research paper or one or two good research paper in MTech itself, not only you will get admission in PhD, but immediately after you get admission in PhD, after first semester you can get PMRF also. And the moment you get PMRF, then rest of the opportunities will start popping up for you. That is what PMRF is all about. So this is a great opportunity and government is serious that PhD a student should do PhD and a good student should be attracted for these kind of courses so that later on we get good researchers, scientists and teachers. I hope you got some idea about this and keep watching a lot of videos will upload on students who have taken the PMRF and they will tell more about this scholarship.